Good morning. Uh, my name is Rudy Ellis. I am the CEO and one of the co-founders of Switchboard Live. And I want to just take a, you know, a moment to kind of talk about um, what simulcasting is and some of the return on engagement metrics around simulcasting and why it's beneficial to you as a, a content producer. So real quick, a little bit about ourselves. Um, Switchboard Live is a company that developed a product called Switchboard Cloud and we make it really easy for your live content to reach all your social destinations. Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, Twitch, Twitter, um, you name it. Um, um, Apple TV you know, channels, Roku channels. S simple solution where you're able to um, you know, connect, engage with the ultimate goal of growing your live video audience. And we believe that you should be able to deliver you know, impactful and authentic brand experiences without compromising your reach. And so here's a quick you know, example of what our product does. One single video feed into our Switchboard Cloud platform, and you're able to connect to you know, all your social channels. Cool. So what the heck is simulcasting, right? So a lot of people didn't realize it. You've, you've probably already experienced or heard that term, you know, simulcasting, multi-streaming, multi-publish. You know, there's various different destination, um, definitions out there, right? Um, and simulcast, as you know, as you as we you know, drill down and look at it, is basically the ability to simulcast broadcast to two or you know, three different mediums. Um, Howard Stern was obviously one that did this, with his radio show and also doing a television show. Um, I Miss in the Morning did the exact same thing. Uh, and what we're finding as a company that you know, a number of brands and talk shows and sitcoms are doing this with the ultimate goal of reaching and growing their audience. Um, and so what I want to do is just talk about why, why would you want to do that? We have this term internally, um, when you're joining a live event, it's, it's obviously beneficial that people are going to tune in and watch it. So the goal is you know, to really have, instead of an ROI, but we use a term called ROE, return on engagement, right? You want to be able to take advantage of your, of your, social, um, your social presence to get people to understand what type of content you're producing, to be able to, to chime in, to be able to be, to be a part of that, right? Um, and then you as a, uh, as a brand or a product, it's a great way to use your social media to get more exposure about whatever it is you're, you know, you're talking about or you're pr putting out there. Um, and so we believe that simulcasting and return on engagement you know, go hand in hand. Um, and, and one of the things that we really, really look at is um, when you're doing a live event and, and part of that engagement, you know, there are things that you want to look for, obviously likes and shares and views, um, you know, comments, um, viewing time. These are all things that when you're going back to say how effective was that live event, you know, for us, um, these are things that, you know, you should be, you know, really, um, you know, cognizant enough to make sure that you are, you know, getting that data so you can, you know, prepare for the next event. Um, and, and, and obviously the ultimate goal is to make sure you're creating thoughtful, immersive, a successful you know, live video. Um, and just some things to kind of think about, right? Did it generate you know, positivity around your brand or your product? Um, especially if you have a new product launch, right? And you, you're looking to get um, content out there. Did it help build that community effect? Um, and then also, if you are talking about a product or, or some type of thing, you want to make sure that um, um, thought leadership, whether you're a subject matter expert in, in you know, various topics, um, is helping to to, um, to be a part of that, that full um, activation. And this is a great report from um, you know, IBM as well as Brand Live, where when you start thinking about live video events and brand loyalty, um, you know, the top four things for us really stick out, right? Being able to achieve, achieve you know, dip, deeper interaction with the audiences, right? Um, you know, making sure that your video is accessible. Um, and it, obviously, the top priority for content is to show that we as these producers, we're human, right? And so you want to make sure that you're engaging um, you know, with, your, with your, um, your audiences as well. Um, and then from that, you know, your likes and your shares will, will follow. So good quality content, being engaging with your customers. Um, and then there's obviously other things you can do post-event to make sure that you're following up from event registration, um, real-time feedback, et cetera, et cetera. And this is actually a really cool report that I, you know, I recommend you guys to kind of search. You can just Google that, and, and uh, Brand Live is, um, is, a, is a partner of ours that, that's done events with us as well. 
So one of the things that we, we see a lot is obviously this is a fragmented universe, right? Um, so many different apps and platforms. How do you reach them all, right? Um, what's the best way to show that you're listening to the feedback and that you care about you know, what people are saying? Um, here's a great study that um, 200 brands, retailers, and agencies found that among 44% of respondents that did a, a live streaming event um, within the last year, simulcasting was actually you know, one of their top use cases. So they were streaming somewhere as well as somewhere else. Um, and so our goal, again, at Switchboard is obviously to make that you know, an easy process for you. Um, this is a, you know, a kind of a great breakdown to kind of show um, some of the platforms that people are using and are engaging um, with live video. So yeah, there's you know, obviously Snapchat in there, um, but still they have a, you know, a live component that they've done with the Olympics. But um, you know, as you can kind of see that just folks on um, internet users that are above the age of 13, um, just the growing rate around um, you know, going to more than one platform obviously um, is a great way to, to not leave your audience in the dark. Um, and obviously, you know, you're doing a live event to make sure people are, are, are part of that and are watching it. Just kind of recap what we do again. So we make it really easy, like I said, to be able to go to all your various social def definitions or destinations rather, um, have a larger audience, um, create viral element around live video. Um, that's the key thing. You want to have this social sharing you know, element in place so that you're able to get your content everywhere that it matters for not only for you, but for your partners, for your, your um, sponsors, um, and, um, and making sure that's an easy process to do that. And I'd like to take a sec to kind of show you some use cases that we've done with some partners that have used our platform just you know, for that. Um, we work with a, um, uh, an extreme sports partner, and they wanted to you know, focus on all their dealerships that they had globally throughout the world, right? Um, and one of the things that they did is they had some great pieces of content or a great show um, that they were producing and, um, and didn't know or, or figure out a way to get this content everywhere. So they use our platform and they had an um, opportunity to reach out to all their partners and they all authorized them to say, hey, we want to be a part of this live stream. We want to carry this live content. Um, and so what yielded from that were you know, 9,000 you know, social shares. You know, 264,000 live views, and this is for probably like an hour show. So this, you know, gives you just the the opportunity to really, really get your content out there. And then on the flip side, you know, just from the impressions and the minutes views, you know, these are real world numbers from real world events. Um, and in fact, um, they actually tried to do something similar post event on, on their own, and that event didn't go so well. So since then, they realized that hey, this is. This is something that we, we saw immediate results, and just the sheer magnitude to pull something off like this um, was, was something that they were unable to do you know, on their own. Here's another um, use case for, so this was actually just going to two destinations, but one of the things that we feel is obviously very, very important, going back to the analytics, right? is being able to see how many viewers tuned in and see the velocity during that you know, live broadcast. And so this is just a breakdown of a sporting event that did occur. Um, and so for this hour and 15 minute stream, you can kind of see just the live viewers um, kind of tune in you know, um, periods of time. And you as a broadcaster, you want to go back and say, hey, you know, maybe we had this show for an hour. Where did it you know, kind of peak or plateau? or even drop off and, and kind of time that or, or figure out based off content where, where that actually happened. Um, but then being able to you know, attribute that to the number of views, interactions, and also reactions as well on that same time period. And so what we do is we actually allow you to, to, um, to kind of map out that event and then kind of see you know, the different reaction points to really see um, how engaging folks were based off of different things that were going on during that live event. So this is a, you know, obviously a quick breakdown just for those two channels to see the reactions. Um, and a reaction is basically a, a, a like, a thumbs up, a heart, any type of you know, sentiment from, from a viewer um, kind of just plotted out so you can see during that broadcast where people really were um, you know, engaging in, in that live content. And then lastly, um, just being able to see shares, right? So there's obviously there were key points within this, this event where folks were um, you know, really engaged on whether it's something 
happened or event happened. And, and this is how you create a viral effect around live video is by allowing, um, you know, obviously this, this viral effect with, um, you know, social shares and, and comments as, as well. Um, here's another case study that, that we um, participated in where they were going to 30 destinations. And keep in mind a destination can be multiple channels on the same page, so, or on the same destination, so maybe multiple Facebook pages or multiple YouTube channels. Um, and so this was a makeup of you know, a, a various amounts. It was a red carpet show. Um, and, and again, being able to, to really get this content um, in, in front of all the folks for that, for that short period of time was, was really um, key for this particular broadcaster and publisher. Um, and, and, and part of that is, you know, how would you be able to do that on, on your own, right? So think about the, the mechanics behind publishing, not just pushing live video, but actually publishing to these destinations. You know, your title, your description, your metadata, all that various information, being able to publish that and have a go live experience, you know, simultaneously across all your platforms um, is it, something that you want to think about when you're, when you're going from one to many um, destinations as well. And lastly, here's a, um, a, a real one of our, our events where um, it, you know, if you can look at just the sheer numbers and impressions, right? Being able to go to over 315 or so, you know, um, authorized destinations, and really having, you know, their audience kick in. Um, so this particular event, um, they were able to put out a kind of think of like an Eventbrite or a landing page. And they had their constituents opt in to say, hey, we want to be a part of this event. How can we um, be a part of this? How can we carry this content on our social channels and, and, and stand up for whatever that you know, pressing issue or cause was? And um, what this particular client did is they actually sent out um, in their newsletter, hey, you know, we're going to do this event on this date. We want you to be a part of that. We want to create the world's largest social stream. How do you do that, right? And so created this branded page. Um, people come to that page, they opted in, you know, with their social destinations, and these were the results, you know, um, 27,000, you know, social shares, just the sheer number of live views, and the minute views as, as well. And so this was a, um, I believe, a 24-hour event that occurred, um, and um, to date, this is one of the, kind of like the biggest events that we've seen that's gone, you know, through our, through our platform as well. Um, Actually, are there any questions about anything that we kind of chatted about thus far? Um, yeah. Just, just curious, like the destinations, like how are the views distributed? Is it, are you finding like there's like five destinations that account for like eight percent of the views, or um, like I'm just, it's, a good, like, it's a great question. So, so typically. Um, it obviously depends on the subject, and it depends on the types of destinations that are part of the stream, right? So we find it that if there's an influencer or brand that has a real affinity to the, to the type of content you're producing, that's going to yield, obviously, more results. So not just a spray and pray approach, but be really tactful about some of the participants that you want to include in your live streams. Um, and there is an 80-20, right? So there will be, you know, 20% of, of those channels will probably be the bulk of that. But if we're able to incorporate, um, you know, think about a live event where maybe there's speakers, right? So this right now, right, I could be streaming to my, my Periscope channel. So people are going to tune in because they follow me, um, but maybe not necessarily streaming media ease, right? Um, and so that's where you can get really tactical about including folks um, that have that, that, um, that following, that have those uh, micro networks, right? And then that's, that's really where the power comes in, where, you know, they're streaming to their socials and then... Their followers are, you know, more in tune. When they go live, they're all notified. That says, "Hey, Rudy Ellis went live. I'm going to tune in, and they want to share that." And so that's that's what we're seeing a lot. A lot of um, brands are starting to do is, is being able to put their content and share it with, you know, with their um, with their constituents as well. Um, so yeah, anyone else had any questions? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we support, um, so social destinations is, um, is primary, right? But we definitely support um, RTMP destinations, so your own player. 
Um, in fact, we have clients that we are also, they also have um, an Apple TV channel or Roku channel. Um, actually, last night, the Sports Emmys was, was just done again, um, distributed to their, they have an OTT partner with, with uh, Unreal with Connect, so they went to their platform as well as Periscope, Facebook, YouTube. And then they also had a branded website, um, emmyonline.tv, which had their HTML5 player. So, so yes, we, we provide that full workflow. Um, and it's simple, right? So that's our goal is, you know, sure you can, you know, if you have a SWAT team of, you know, video engineers or tech folks, you can, you can do things with other platforms or other service providers, and that's all good. But if, if you are, you know, the contact person and you're, you know, the social media or marketing manager and you're, you're making sure you're pulling all these initiatives, that's, you know, one of the reasons why we built our platform is to make it really easy. Three steps go live. Video in, select your destinations, and then, you know, and go live as well. Any other questions before I move on? Awesome. Um, I just wanted to kind of go back and just, you know, uh, you know going back to that report and, and talk about, you know, some of the, the key use cases or, or um, scenarios, obviously, for, for internal perspectives, right? Um, being able to do town halls, you know, train sales reps, train customer service, um, and, and over the next 12 months, um, as you can see, these numbers are increasing. And, and those are ways where not only are you doing stuff you know, externally, but think about internal um, destinations or, or companies, Facebook pages or YouTube pages that could be internal or even platforms as well, right? And so um, having a, a system that you can do this for, for internal use cases from a simulcasting perspective is just as effective a, a, as well. And then lastly, um, we believe obviously the future is, is really bright and, and live video. So we're really bullish on that. Um, being able to incorporate, um, going back to what I said, being able to incorporate like influencers, um, I think it's, you know, I don't want to just use that term, but key, you know, subject matter experts for whatever type of content you're producing um, could dramatically, you know, have an impact um, on, on live content and, and, and using simulcasting as a way to do that. Um, another great thing is, is as a marketing initiative or call to action. So maybe um, you have an event and the first 10 minutes of that event is live on your social channels. Hey, you want to see more? Come here. Here's where the event's going on. Here's where the um, you know, the messages are happening, here's what the feedback is. It's a great way to kind of, you know, draw people in um, to be a part of that. And these are all, you know, perfect examples of, of that. Product launches, you know, um, in-person events, things where people can't be there, but you're able to do that. You know, virtual tours, um, these are, you know, you know great examples of, of um, activations where live video can, can definitely complement that. And this is, this is a cool slide, uh, you know, it's a little, little data, we got to update it, but, you know, we firmly believe that live video is, you know, eating the internet. Um, it's, a, it's a quote from Ben Matthews, he's a uh, uh, partner at um, Bessemer Venture Partners, and, and just the way video is, is, how people are consuming content, you know, live video is, is definitely on, on a tear as well. Um, and you as a, a content creator, a publisher, or a platform, you have to pick a platform, right, and make sure that your marketing team, your social media efforts are all cajoling viewers to tune in for that date and that time. And we believe there's, you know, there's definitely different ways to do that and, and simulcast can be a, a, a way to, to help you reach the platforms, reach the viewers, and at the end of the day, increase your, you know, your engagement. And um, that's it, that's what I have. If you have any questions, I'll definitely um, um, take those now. Here's my contact information. If you love to learn more about us, um, we're in booth 210. Um, you can come by. Um, we can show you a demo. You know, ha ask someone one questions as well. Um, our product is that we have a two-week free trial. You can sign up and, and give it a go. Um, but yeah, if you have any specific questions, you know, feel free to, to open up and, and, and um, ask away. I think it's actually as about as before, but for analytics, is it, is it still yet to tap into those social networks and, and find analytics from those different platforms? Or are you, are you drawing it back? So, um, so yeah, we we are pulling those back. Um, we can produce a post event report, and that's where those numbers that we generated from those events as well. So, being able to see as an aggregate across all your platforms. Mm -hmm. How many views? Um, you know, how many people tuned in, and then break them out on a per platform basis as well. 
Um, so we, we do have a system in place where we can generate those events, uh, or sorry, generate those reports post-event. Um, and typically what we also do for our partners is we'll do them in intervals. So 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours. So you can see how that video performed you know, after the live event did occur. So, um, but yeah, we provide those as well. Alrighty guys, well I appreciate it. Thanks for your time.